right there. So here I am with the uh, Fender Stratocaster in my uh, arms, my hands. Uh, this is the HSS uh, Harm Humbucking Single Coil Single Coil Fender Stratocaster. It's the Max Tex. We'll talk about guitars later in the comparison, right? But now I need to uh, give you a little bit news about the Boss, the Boss SY1000. At the moment it's in clean. I told you the um, Boss SY1000 simulates amps simulates guitars and it simulates synthesizers. Let's start with guitar. So the point here is that the, the plug is just right there in my guitar, going straight from the guitar into the boss, okay? And uh, the GK doesn't work. I'll get back later to the GK and the, uh, the, the, the ceramic uh, microphone, so the pickup, GK3 with the pickup. Now we start talking about the uh, effects inside the Boss SY1000 the way we all know it a little bit, like a stomp pedal. So this is making use of the sounds of the guitar. If I close the volume, no sound. Later I will show you in the guitar uh, simulation and in the synthesizer, okay, this we can close if we don't want to mix the guitar signal together with the synth on the guitar signal. So here we are, the guitar is on. And when I play, you can hear in this case, this is an amplifier, it's a, it's, a, it's a tweed actually, a Fender tweed, 1963, the yellow one, the light brown one, that's why it's called tweed. Uh, and uh, I have it on the front pickup, uh, and that will make a difference. Now the effects inside the boss are all uh, uh, from boss, obviously, about 150 pedals inside the boss. And when we do the uh, review solely about the boss SY1000, okay, I will I will show you a lot of them. They can also be edited on the computer. This is a huge thing. This thing is awesome. But for now, as an introduction video, I just want to show you what uh, tools we use. The tools that we use to uh, to give our guitars uh, 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 a good overview. So clean, as I said, okay, only effects and amplification. So if I would go to nine two, then that's another uh, example of uh, amplification simulation. Yes, it says Roski, which is uh, Rosli. This is a sound I made for Ross when he's playing the gem the Ibanez gem and it sounds like this and as you can see pickup selection which in this case is a humbucker definitely works also volume etc. Et this is uh, uh, a sound that uses a Marshall a Plexi. That's uh, Ross's favorite uh, amplifier. So let's give you some more examples and, and let's look at what the GK3 can do. So guitar simulation. Let's talk about that for a second. Now let's say that you are standing on stage and uh, you have a concert and you're using different kinds of guitar sounds. Like you're using a, a Les Paul, you're using a Stratocaster, you're using a Telecaster, and you have to drag all those guitars onto stage with you in the bus, in the truck, and etc. etc. So with this machine, that's really no longer necessary. Let me for this sound, for instance, is the, the volume is no longer used. So you can see I'm closing it down. Alright, okay. <laughs> That's why the pickup selection doesn't use doesn't work anymore. Although inside the boss you can actually select this is a stripe a, a, sorry a strut 
type kind of guitar, a Stripe, a Strat type kind of guitar. And therefore, inside the sofa, you can actually select position one, two, three, four, or five. In this case, it is position five on the humbucker. But as you can hear, there's an octave on top of it as well. And again, no volume. Okay? No sound. And that's kind of funny because not only can you choose different kinds and types of electric guitar, but we also have um, uh, acoustic guitars. This is a, a dreadnought, warm dreadnought. Yes, 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 the tremolo is working. So that would be the first dreadnought acoustic guitar with a tremolo. <laughs> right, eyes? So... Now the tune effect that we did before is, is possible here as well. If I would put a octave on top of it, octave higher, a little bit detuned, we'd have a 12 string, right? That's what happens when I press the controller, all right, controller one. And that's one of the things with the boss. You can, you can hang all kinds of pedals on it as well, expression pedals. And anyway, here is the 12 string dreadnought. There we are. So perhaps a few more of these examples, like the ES-335 semi-acoustic Gibson. No sound coming out of the guitar. Hmm? A sitar coming from your guitar. <laughs> so, I don't play sitar, so I don't know what to play guys here, but <laughs> it sounds like a sitar, all right? And um, in total, 200 sounds in this machine. And that includes the synthesizer sounds. So for that, we will activate the GK3. It was on synthesizer and, and guitar and guitar simulation. So now it's full on synth. Lock the volume, zero volume. <laughs> Or sequences, synthesizers, chord sequence. <laughs> And the sound that I will use in the demo as well. And then giving you the controller again, which in this case will play um, the sound an octave higher or put a sound an octave lower below it. In this case.
And then to show you that this is uh, absolutely the synth, you can even make little bird sounds with them. And that, I would say, includes the Boss SY-1000. brings us to the sound that I want to use in the demo to show the looper. again we changed the position of the cameras so you can have better look at the uh, looper what is a looper okay a looper is somewhat 10 years ago invented okay and it is nothing but a sampler that's what it is it is a sampler in a little box so it basically samples anything you put into it you put a microphone in it okay then uh, you can record the microphone and we'll have different loopers passing the review in the future we're also going to do a perfect review on this looper but again i repeat when i say that we do this now cuman untuk menjelaskan to explain uh, alat alat yang kita pakai untuk mendemonstrasikan uh, uh, gitar kita to untuk perbezaannya <laughs> a looper is a sampler a looper is a sampler is a recorder of audio and then in this case the RC10 okay has a built-in drum computer as well and I want to show you a little bit uh, how it works not too much we'll get back to that later this one does not have a microphone input you can imagine if you have a looper with a microphone input you can take the mic and you can go boom, 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 like that and you will have a drum rhythm you know but this one has a uh, input, has a drum computer inside, so we don't need that. So this one only has a guitar in. It has two guitar ins and it has two line outs. Okay, so it's stereo, stereo in, stereo out. So um, looper because when you press the right buttons in the right time, it will loop. It will repeat what you recorded. So you might start with a little guitar lick. Uh, and in my case I'm using an Octaver on top of it or I'm using the SY-1000 to create a synthesizer bass sound on top of it uh, and then you just record 4 bars, 8 bars, 16 bars it can actually record 6 hours of music, this looper uh, and uh, as soon as you hit the button it starts recording as soon as you hit the button back it will repeat that loop and you can overdub it with a synth sound, with an organ, with a... And then in the end, you can play your solo on top of it. That's how it works. That's why it's called looper. So what you need is you need to be put, you know, your feet on top of the pedal exactly at the right time. But there is a function in the looper called sync. Now let me show you how this thing works. If we would press the menu, and we have the several menus like control and all that and we want to go to the rhythm and loop if we go in then so this is the typical uh, boss uh, 
well, they could have made this thing a little bit better by giving it a touch display, I guess. But nevertheless, it works, okay? You use this button to go into the function, you see? It and then you can change it by dialing it. So the sync switch off or the sync switch on. And then you can exit and you can exit. And there's many, many more functions within the menu, such as the rhythm kit. This is all coming from the roll and drum uh, series. I believe you got you guys got them in C and M as well, right? Roll and drums. All these sounds are there, but you can actually also choose for the live drum kit and even the light drum kit. And if I'm not mistaken, there is also like you know brushes and jazz and and rock and uh, all that stuff. So that's pretty cool. We get out of the menu to come back to the rhythm and loop menu, and we get into control, into MIDI into system and as well as mass storage. Okay, it's a bit hard to see the display. I promise you in the future we will get back to getting better shots from displays and stuff. For now, mass storage means, okay, that you um, can take your loops, six hours of it, okay, and store them on a computer. It, it, it really means it's a, it's a recording device. It is six hours of stereo track data and also uh, 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 dump the files uh, through the USB port to your computer and save it there. So you can go on. You can make 60 hours or 600 hours. But the fun thing is the pattern. So there's 100 patterns. Okay, 100 patterns where you have verse and chorus. So 90A, 90B kind of thing. So again, I say this a hell of a lot of information. You can store it to the unit. So when you put it off, okay, it will not erase it. So if you want to bring this to your, to your concert, or to your gig, you can easily be a one-man band. And if you have a keyboard player that has MIDI and is using sequences or, or, or not, you can trigger it uh, through MIDI with your drummer, okay? So it will stay into rhythm. I say again, this is a great tool. It's not just a great tool for me to demonstrate guitars, but it's also a great tool to use in the band. And last but least, the practicing when you're doing at home, doing your scales, you know, it's, it's so much more fun if you uh, can use a, a, a something more than just a rhythmic click, clack, click metronome. Start the unit again. I guess. There is a volume button on it as well. See? Drum still. So, um, we've recorded the uh, bass. And now we can add on some more stuff. Let's uh, give it a try. That's it. it repeats the uh, guitar uh, sounds. So this would be the right moment to record the chorus or if this is the verse, if this would be the chorus, then we record the verse. We do it again by switching to the other pattern by clicking on the right button and it will then give a little fill. Also we're looking at bar number six, bar number seven, bar number eight, right? So there we go. Let's put the sound on it. In this case, let's put some fairy string. And recorder, there we go.
brushes. Now uh, go back to my uh, original track and do some uh, soloing. Again with the help of the Bosses White House and then Rosley's uh, sound. Keep right pressed. can make a little fill also, just pressing it once, there she comes, hoppla, going to the other pattern, like I'll show that again, so we choose another sound, and the right button, you keep pressing, you hold the right button, seven, and eight, and there we go, hoppla, As I said, you know, great material to practice your your uh, pentatonic scale, or uh, perhaps a uh, minor. And then last but not least, if we're, we're done with all this nonsense, <laughs> then we hit the right pedal twice, and then it will give us a little ending pattern. If you're interested in more information about these two tools that we use to demonstrate our guitars, then by all means, give us a bell, give us a call, give us a link, give us a chat, give us an app, uh, whatever you call it. And Ice will definitely be reacting uh, from me. And Ice was sitting right there beside me. Uh, thanks for looking. Come back, like and subscribe, and see you in our next episode. Cheerio.